That was for you, Steve. Steve, good game. Love this coffee. All right, in today's video, I'm gonna show you the mount that I made for my 2006 Dodge uh, Ram uh, pickup. It's a quad cab. And uh, I, got this, I got this idea off the internet and I happened to have some sheet metal around that I, uh, basically I just bent it up and uh, made it fit. And I'll show you pictures of that uh, here in the, in the video. It's not, it's not a build, it's just to show you how I did it. And also, I'll show you the antenna, how I wired it, and uh, well, just watch the video. Um, if you like this video and you get anything out of it, um, just hit that, hit that like button and the subscribe button and hit that bell so you get uh, future videos. All right, let's, uh, we're, we're gonna go into it and uh, hummingbirds are flying around here crazy. Just had to throw the ball for my dogs and she's leave me alone while I'm trying to record. Okay, I'm gonna show you the uh, mount that I made. Now, I didn't originate this, this design. I found it online and uh, I had the sheet metal laying around. I always keep my radio covered. Eh, nobody could really tell that it isn't there, but uh, it, it, what it does is just kind of keeps the, the, the sun off of my radio. Now, this, this mount is just a piece of sheet metal that I bent. It's got a bend here and a bend here, and it kind of conforms to the, the seat. Now this is a uh, this is a fold-up seat, so you can sit on sit a, an extra person, the, fifth, the sixth person. What it does is it bolts to the bolts down here. Um, you, you unbolt it, slip this in. Got a couple slots, and then there's my coax hookup. Comes up, shows the voltage of the battery. Usually that's like 14 something. Now I have made uh, some pretty good contacts with this, uh, this setup uh, distance wise. I was going my way down to LA one time, actually going down to the Mount Pacifico um, deal with Josh and the HR ham radio, you know, the ham radio crash course soda. And on that, on that, on that trip, I, I made a couple contacts of in excess of 50 miles on uh, Simplex. 520. I, I usually run 520 down the freeway just to listen up and uh, see if there's anybody there. Call out every once in a while. I have enough room on this mount that I can uh, hopefully eventually mount the head of my 857 on here. And I actually may mount both the heads. So this head comes off also. And uh, mount both heads on one bracket and maybe tilt them more towards myself. I've got like a kind of like that does. That's a uh, just a phone, a phone holder there, but uh, it's all all right straight to the battery. Uh, works great. Now for the antenna, I think that's a diamond uh, dual band antenna. I actually did drill it through the roof, and uh, I had that actually for another antenna. So I, when I got rid of that antenna, I just put this one on there. So that's pretty much how it goes. And when I do my 857 right now, usually I just uh, set it up here. Sometimes I'll set it facing me so I can see the screen. It's a small screen, but you know, what, I usually don't change bands or or anything while I'm driving. I just usually set it on a on just one one band. A lot of times I'll be on 40 and driving down the thing. I don't get too much noise. I haven't done a lot of bonding on this truck. I I think uh, I've got just one ground, but I will. I do have all the stuff to bond it, so I will do that in the near future and see if that helps. It has a little bit of noise on 40 sometimes, but it's not bad. I mean, and I've never really noticed it on other bands. Okay, so here's the, uh, it's called a high q It's made in Southern California. The uh, coil inside does not go up and down like most screwdriver antennas. It's all internal, so there's nothing to really get dirty. Um, pretty low maintenance. I built this chunk coil here for this. That's to help get it. I think that's basically just to, for 80 to help it better. I've got a connector here. This connector goes to a uh, to the switch for the up and down motions. Then you got your coax here. 
a friend of mine and I made this this bracket here and this is a big antenna so it needs a lot it needs a pretty sturdy bracket and what this does is it it, it uh, hooks to the in the corner here to both sides of the truck for stability works pretty good I've it's gone down the freeway 75 80 miles an hour with no real problems in the back here I've got the uh, it's like a, I think it's a four or six gauge cable that comes back. I've run a 400, 100, 400 watt amp off of this, but I've got this adapter to uh, run my radio, my 857. And then this is a coax. I just, it's a little short, but I extend it up to the, uh, where I want the radio. Right in here on the console. That's usually where I set the 857. Here, this is the switch I made. It tells you which direction, up or down, uh, which for which bands. I don't have the automatic set up, but you don't need it. You just you just tune for the noise, and then I, and then do quick settings, and uh, it works pretty good if you have noise. I've had one instance when I didn't have any noise, and uh, it was a problem to tune. I had to get my analyzer out. So under here is I hooked everything straight to the battery. It's the best way to do your radios. Um, you get the rate, get the, the big cable for the A57 back there, and then you've got um, the smaller cables go to the the 88. And this is just grease on here to keep things from corroding and stuff. That all goes down. If you look down inside there, there's a fire. There's a rubber grommet down there, and it goes through that so it's doesn't ground out or anything. So. I hope that helps helps you with your uh, your install. Like I said, uh, this could this could actually be for any Ford, Chevy, Dodge, doesn't matter, uh, cars, anything that has a similar mount for seats. It basically, it just mounts underneath the seat bracket, the two bolts. I have two uh, slots that uh, line up with the bolts. I loosen the bolts, slipped it underneath, and then uh, tighten it all back up, and it works pretty good. I do, I do, like I said, I do want to get my 857, the head and the head just for that and put them on one little mount on there and also mount a couple, I have uh, these little square speakers that uh, work really good for uh, like an external speaker and they don't take up a lot of space and they sound pretty good, better than the, at least it's facing you, better than the, in, the internal um, speakers in the radios. If you have any questions or anything like that, just, uh, put them in the in the comments down below and I'll, I'll try to answer it if uh, if I can't answer it somebody probably will um, like I said I need to do some bonding to see if I can help a little bit more I was really surprised how well the high the high Q antenna worked without really any bonding I got one ground wire to it but uh, I will I'm gonna ground the exhaust and uh, everything to the frame there and see if I can improve it on how it already works my one of my first contacts uh, well, I got a DX contact to um, Cuba or someplace one day, just sitting on the hill and 20 meters, and uh, I was surprised I broke into the pile up there, 100 watts. Okay, if you do like, if you did get anything out of this, uh, please hit that uh, subscribe button and the like button there, and uh, hit the bell so you get future videos. Uh, again, this is uh, Chuck, KK6USY, Ham Radio Adventures. Thank you.